Hello everybody, I have made this small video for the demonstration of the discrete Fourier transform or the FFT function using MATLAB. Here I am using MATLAB version R2015B. I have considered a wave X which is composed of three sinusoids. The first one is this, the second one is this and the third one is this. The first one has the frequency of 20 Hz, the second one has a frequency of 30 Hz and the third one has a frequency of 40 Hz. The first one has an amplitude of 3 and phase of plus 0.2 and the 30 Hz component has a amplitude of 1 and a phase of minus 0.3. The third one which is have frequency of 40 Hz have an amplitude 2 and a phase of plus 2.4. Here I have selected the time 1.5 second and sampling frequency is 1000. So 1000 into 1.5 that gives 1500. So if we plot the graph, we will get 1500 discrete points. Now if I run the program, then here you can see x is set as 1500 double. Now if I plot the graph, we will get this. This is my sinusoid, and here we have in the along x axis the time which has 1500 points and in the y axis we am getting I am getting the amplitude. Now if we want to Fourier transform this function then capital X which is in the frequency domain is equal to a 50 or small x which is in time domain we will get x. Here x is complex double as you know in frequency they have both magnitude and phase then this is why the capital X is here a complex number if we see X the values of X from 2 to 5 points are real but the values of capital X from 2 to 5 here you can see these values are complex to get the magnitude of the complex number we will use the variable which is equal to aps of x and to get the phase use the variable phase which is angle of x and here you can see x magnitude 2.2 to 5 here these values are real multiplied by 1 to 10 to minus 11 which is the magnitude of this and if we find these are the phase from the values 2 to 5 of this so now if we plot the magnitude of Fourier transformed form of the wave small x. Now, so we can see there are 1500 discrete points in the x axis and there are 3 spikes in the left and 3 spikes on the right. As you can see, the 3 spikes on the left are the mirrored image of the spikes we are getting in the right side and the middle one is as the height of the one third of the first one and the, of the half of the last one that is the third one as you can see from the here the first one has three second one has one and third one has two amplitude so here you can see in this graph that is reflected so if we further zoom in getting the value 31 so if we want to find value at 31 the phase value we will get 0 0.2 which we have said earlier the value is plus 0 0.2 and for the second one zoom in we will have the value 46 so 
or 46 we will get the value sorry for 46 we will have minus 0 0.3 we, we have done earlier minus 0 0.3 and for the last one the value is 61 frequency so for 61 frequency the value is plus 2.4 as this was in the way small x so this is the demonstration of first Fourier transform Thank you for watching.